Hey everybody, welcome back to TTM Brox Boys. Everybody's doing all right, I hope, right? Got the alarm heart behind me, watching my back. No one better, no one better than the Intimidator watching your back, you know? So, I got a story about uh, Mr. Casey Kane from NASCAR. He, I found out he was retiring a couple years ago and I sent cards to uh, the shop that he used to, he used to race for. They came back with a note saying, Casey Kane is no longer affiliated with our race team with a business card. If any other questions, please contact this this phone number or address. As a matter of fact, I don't think there was an address on it. I think it was just a phone number. I should have kept it, but I threw it away in anger. And I, first, I called the number. So I called the number, and it's in North Carolina. And a lady, uh, young lady answers the phone and says, uh, Casey Kane shop, how may I help you? I said, yeah, I'd like to speak to Casey Kane, please. Thinking, well, I don't know what I was thinking when I said it. Thinking maybe, oh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to speak to him and then ask him for an autograph and try to go that route. But she said, oh, well, I'm sorry, sorry, sir. He's out test driving. He's at the track test driving cars for, for the shop. I'm like, oh, okay, cool. He's, I said, oh, good. He's he's still racing then, huh? She said, yeah, well, he's got a, a dirt track car that takes out on the weekend and, you know, Thursday nights or whatever else they day, wherever they, else they, day they race. Um, by the way, I just stuttered a lot. I'm not going to um, edit it. So anyway, whew, can't think about what I'm saying. Anyway, she said, can, how can I help you? And I said, well... I try, I'm trying to get an autograph from Casey Kane. He's one of you know my favorite drivers from NASCAR. But it, it's I don't know where to send it. She said, well, I can probably help you with something. Please give me your phone number. And I'll, I'll see what I can do for you. When uh, when Casey comes back from driving, test driving, I'll, I'll see what he can do for you. And I said, all right, thank you. And I went back to, I went back to work because I didn't think anything about it, you know. I was like, she's not going to call me back. Gave my phone number out to somebody. Nick, I call me. It was probably like uh, two days later. I got a phone call. A n no number. I don't know what the number is, whatever. Um, I think it's okay. It's one of those telemarketers that I'm going to get. I'm going to save a lot of money. My car insurance or my car warranties expired. You know, you, we all get the calls. But it wasn't. It was uh, Casey Kane's shop. This this young lady called me again, and uh, she said, uh, "You don't have to send us anything. We're gonna send you autograph uh, picture from Casey Kane, right?" I said, "Oh, that's awesome. You know, oh, sorry, I'm covering up his name, not doing anything wrong." So I said, "Oh, that's pretty cool. Thank you." She said. Um, you know, Casey, Casey's just, he's not racing. He's only racing uh, dirt track. And now he owns the team. He's got a couple of sponsors on there. And he's keeping a low profile. I said, oh, I thank you. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. I said, um, by the way, what is your name? You know, because I, you know, I'd like to know who I'm talking to on the phone. She said, well, I really don't give out my name, but I'm Casey, I'm Casey Kane's mom. <laughs> Uh, I said, come on, really? She said, no, I'm, I really am. Uh, we all work together here at the shop. We're a low-key operation. And we like to keep it that way. Um, so now, I don't know if they're going to be low-key anymore after this. But yeah, it, it just goes to show you that pretty awesome. He brought it back, like I said, he brought it back down to his roots, racing dirt track. And if you ever saw a dirt track race, man, oh man. He was driving NASCAR like he was on a dirt track, coming around the turn, you know, sideways and not hit the wall. Anyway, thank you, Mr. Casey Kane. I do appreciate the autograph, sir. I mean, it's been a while since I had it in my, um, my collection. And so anyway, thank you. Stay awesome.